Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. Today we are going to learn one of the most important parameter of a rate analysis is how to calculate the number of the worker required to execute any specific type of the job. The total number of the worker required for execution of the any specific type of the job is depend on their outturn value. Outturn is the amount of the work that can be performed by a single worker in 8 hour of the working days. Outturn values depend on the various factors like skills of the workers, nature of the job, size and scale, height of working, situation and the locations. Moving forward, we will see the outturn value for the various activities like excavation work in a different type of the soil, soil filling, soling, PCC, RCC, plinth protection, brick work, stone work, roofing, plaster, punning, painting and so on. If you want to learn all these outturn value then stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. This video is going to be a slightly lengthy as all the outturn value is covered here step by step of the construction and one by one. So let's proceed ahead. Let's start with the initial step for the execution of the any structures that is the earthwork. For the earthwork in excavation for the foundation or trench in ordinary soil lead up to 50 meter and lift up to 1.5 meter. Lead is the horizontal distance from point of excavation to the point of the dumping and lift is the vertical distance from point of excavation to the point of the dumping. For the excavation work, mazdoor are utilized. One mazdoor can excavate 3.08 cubic meter of the earth in ordinary soil. If the excavation is required to be done in the hard soil lead up to 50 meter and lift up to 1.5 meter, then due to the hard soil, the outer value of the mazdoor become less. And for the hard soil, the outer value is 2.1 cubic meter per mason per day. If the excavation is required to be done in the soft and the decomposed rock by blasting lead up to 50 meter and lift up to 1.5 meter as due to the very hard soil or the rock presence in the trench or the foundation the outer value of the mazdoor become very less and it becomes 0.55 cubic meter per mazdoor per day the second step after the excavation is the pcc work for the any foundation and for the PCC work masons are utilized as it required a finishing surface. If lime concrete is used as a PCC for the foundation work then one mason can complete or execute 8.5 cubic meter of the lime concrete in one day. If instead of lime concrete cement concrete is used utilized of M15 grade then one mason can execute 5 cubic meter of the concrete in one day. After the PCC work, the next step is the RCC work. If cement concrete of M15 grade is utilized for the RCC work, then one mason can finish and complete 3.25 cubic meter of the concrete in one day. The next step is the sand filling in plinth consolidating and dressing. After the successful execution of the plinth beam, the portion left inside the plinth beam are required to be backfilled, which can be done with the help of the mazdoor. One mazdoor can backfill up to a 4 cubic meter of the sand in one day. The next step is the grid slab. Grid slab is the flat slab which is made above the plinth beam. There are two techniques to execute this grade slab. One is a conventional technique and second is the modern technique. In a conventional technique, bricks are laid in a layer. For that purpose, mazdoor are utilized. One mazdoor can lay 9 square meter of the bricks in one day. After this laying the brick, the surface is finished with the cement mortar. In a modern technique, a cement concrete is utilized as a grade slab. If the 7.5 cm thick cement concrete is used for the grid slab purpose, then one mason can finish up to a 10 square meter area in one day. 
if 2.5 cm thick cement concrete is used for the same purpose then one mason can finish 12.5 square meter of the area in one day the next step after the successful execution of the grade slab is the brick work before execution of the brick work dpc is required to interlock the blocks or the bricks with the grade slab if 2.5 cm thick cement concrete is used as a dpc then one mason can finish up to 12.5 square meter of the dpc in one day if 2 cm thick dpc is used for the bonding purpose then one mason can finish 20 square meter area in one day after the dpc the next step is the brick work for the brick work in foundation and plinth protection purpose one mason can execute 1.25 cubic meter of the brick work in one day for brick work in superstructure at ground floor level superstructure is a part of the structure above the ground level for that purpose one mason can execute 1.1 cubic meter of the brick work in one day for brick work in partition wall at the ground floor level half brick thick wall one mason can complete 7 square meter area in one day in construction industry when the thickness of the job is less than 4 inch it is measured in a square meter and when the thickness of the job exceed 4 inch it is measured in a cubic meter for the brick work in plain arch at the ground floor level one mason can execute 1 cubic meter of the brick work in one day and when brick work is done on the edge of the floor with the cement mortar then one mason can complete 1 square meter area in one day after the completion of the brick work the next step is the pointing pointing is basically done for the aesthetic view for the facial work for that purpose one mason can finish 10 square meter area in one day for the boundary wall construction the rubbles are used rubble are the quarry stone of size varies from 6 inch to 12 inch rubble machinery or stone machinery are mostly used in a two places first for making a boundary wall and second for wall cladding for architectural or aesthetic view purpose random means stones are picked randomly in use in the machinery for random rubble machinery in the foundation one mason can execute and complete 1 cubic meter of the machinery in one day for random rubble machinery in superstructure one mason can complete 0.9 cubic meter of the machinery work in one day as it required some special effort to finish the joint of the machinery properly for the ashlar machinery in the superstructure ashlar is that type of the stone work which are used for the facial or the architectural view purpose all the stones in the ashlar machinery are used as a dressed form and the joint of the stones are maintained uniformly throughout the length in this type one mason can complete 0.4 cubic meter of the stone work in one day for coarse rubble stone machinery in superstructure coarse means all the stones which are used in the same layer having a same height in this type one mason can complete 0.67 cubic meter of the machinery work in one day the next step is the plastering work for the plastering 12 mm thick cement plaster on the new brick work one mason can complete 10 square meter area in one day and for 6 mm thick cement plaster to the rcc ceiling one mason can complete 10 square meter area in one day plastering is basically is done for the two purpose first to protect the joint of the machinery by the weathering action and second to provide a smooth surface the cement punning is basically done to improve these two properties 
one mason can complete 40 square meter area of the cement panning in one day the next step is the flooring walk for terrazzo floor 6 mm thick mosaic walk over 2 cm thick cement concrete of the M15 grade one mason can complete 5 square meter area of the flooring in one day if if precast terrazzo tiles are used for the flooring purpose of the 20 mm thick layer of the bed in 25 mm thick lime mortar then one mason can complete 5 square meter area per day when terrazzo skirting or dado is required to execute in 6 mm thick terrazzo layer over a 12 mm thick cement plaster then one mason can finish 3.85 square meter area in one day when precast terrazzo tile of 20 mm thick in skirting and riser of the step on 12 mm thick cement plaster is required to execute then one mason can execute 3.2 square meter area in one day let's move to the roofing part or the terracing part there are two types of the terracing or the roofing are used in this country one is a plain roof or second is the pitch roof or the sloping roof for the plain roof mostly rcc is used when 10 cm average thick terracing on the rcc is required to execute then one mason can execute or complete 9.1 square meter area in one day for pitch type of the roofing ceramic materials like tiles are used in case running gun style used for the roofing one mason can complete 6.7 square meter area in one day for mangalore tile roofing including wooden battens tile set in a cement mortar one mason can complete 10 square meter area in one day in many places like warehouses or factory sheds corrugated galvanized iron sheets are used to fix this corrugated sheet carpenters are used one carpenter can execute and complete 10 square meter area in one day let's move to the interior and finishing type of the work for single coat whitewashing over the old, old whitewashing surface painter are used one painter can complete 133 square meter in one day for whitewashing two coat or a coat of a primer one painter can complete 66.70 square meter area in one day for this for this tempering two coat to a new cement plaster distempering is the process of applying a distemper on the wall in this case one painter can complete 17 square meter area in one day for the lime per punning over the interior plaster surface for the interior finish purpose one mason can complete 10 square meter area in one day for the waterproofing cement paint on the parapet wall or the external surfaces to a new cement plaster one painter can complete 20 square meter area in one day and for the wall painting with a plastic emulsion paint for even surface one painter can complete 28 square meter area in one day for the wooden articles primer coat with the ready mix plaster on wooden or the steel work one painter can complete 40 square meter area in one day and for painting a two coat excluding prime coat ready mix paint for the woodwork one painter can complete 18 square meter area in one day for painting two coats excluding primer coat ready mix paint on a old wood work then one painter can complete 28 square meter area in one day 
in waterproofing some of the places the brick or the ballast are used for the filling purpose for that purpose if breaking of over burnt brick to a ballast 40 mm down is to carried out then mazdoor are utilized for that purpose and one mazdoor can execute 0.75 square a cubic meter in one days and when the bricks are required to reduce further up to a 25 mm down then one mazdoor can complete 0.55 cubic meter in per day by multiplying the outturn value to the total quantity of the work to be executed the total amount or the number of the worker can be taken out and can proceed ahead for the rate analysis purpose thank you for watching